Kids Church, it's great to see you. How are you? And a very warm welcome to you today. So today's funny fact is that you know those bees that we all get a little bit annoyed about? Well, they don't just sting us, they protect their own hive and if they see an intruder bee, they'll sting each other, they'll sting the other bee. So they don't just sting us, they sting other bees too. By the road was completely blind How Jesus made him see you really blow your mind He made us with my boy oh, And squished it in his eyes Ooh, can, can you, you believe, believe that? that? He's excellent Yeah, he is extreme He's out there too Yeah, he is extreme It's in your face Yeah, he is extreme Believe it, believe it, believe it Ooh, if you thought that was extreme Listen to this Man in a tomb was completely dead And Jesus brought him back Really fry your head Then they heard him shout oh, Lazarus come out Ooh, can, can you believe it? it? He's excellent Yeah, he is extreme He's out there too Yeah, he is extreme It's in your face Yeah, he is extreme Believe it, believe it, believe it Ooh. Do you believe it? Hey, here's one more for you Crowd were completely drained. How Jesus gave them food will really pop your brain. You touch some fish and bread, and everyone was fed. Ooh, can you believe it? He's excellent. Yeah, he is extreme. He's out there, do oh, yeah, he is extreme. It's in your face. Yeah, he is extreme. Believe it, believe it, believe it. He's excellent. Yeah, he is extreme. He's out there, do he is extreme! It's, it's in your face! Oh yeah! He is extreme! Believe, believe it! Believe it! Believe it! Believe it. Believe it. <laughs> so now we're going to dig deep into the Word of God and understand what it means for you and for me today. And we've got a great Bible verse, another one from Philippians 4 verse 13. And it says, Christ is the one that gives me the strength I need to do whatever I must do. Philippians 4 verse 13. So what does that mean? Because we get strength from sleeping well, from eating well, from doing exercise, but they're not going to help us with everything because sometimes we need a different type of strength. We need a strength that gives us hope or courage or a belief to believe in something bigger than you and me. And do you know what? My God is the God that does that. He does help us with staying healthy, eating well, getting the right exercise and sleep. God can help with all those things by giving us discipline and helping us with remembering in our brains but he also gives us that courage and that peace and that inner belief that there is a God and strength is needed in so many different ways and so many different times of life and I pray that you know God's strength today I know it and it's made a massive difference in my life and I pray that this week you will feel that strength in you in those quiet moments when you're a bit uncomfortant or a bit sure, unsure or even sad or happy. I pray that you will know God's strength in all your situations that you've got going on in your life. Comment below if we can pray anything specific for you this week. So let's pray to end our session today. Thanks for joining us. We hope you have a great week ahead and know that strength of God. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that you are an awesome God. You sent Jesus to die on the cross for us and you rose again so that we can have this amazing relationship with you. I thank you that we do get all things in you because you give us your strength. God, help us see that strength this week. Help us acknowledge when you are with us. 
and to thank you and give you praise and glory. Keep us safe and bless us, we pray. Amen. Amen! Good job, everyone. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.